I'm really delighted with the dancers. I mean, I've got um, seven new dancers in the company, which is really a lot, um, because that kind of acclimatization to the way of working is such a challenge. Um, but what we're working on, we're really working in a very methodical and detailed way. And um, I'm yeah, finding some interesting solutions to problems. And I know now I've got, I, I've got a lot of um, decisions to make over the next six weeks about how things are structured and where things go. But I do feel I've got a lot of content to be working with, so that's quite exciting. Thinking about the specific themes of Entity, we've been thinking about that for about two and a half years, and it's come out of some of the work that we've been doing with the cognitive and neuroscientists about what is the relationship between the brain and the body and how does that work. And it's just keeping that fascination with um, science embedded into the way in which we work choreographically. I once got a piece of advice from a very famous choreographer who said, you should work with music you don't like. Well, I've never really had that compulsion to make when I'm not really into the music. So it takes me a long time to really find music that I really find stimulating. Um, with this piece, it's a diptych, so it's two pieces, uh, essentially, that kind of share some uh, parameters. They share some form. Um, and I felt that the, the music should be, yes, contrasting, but also have a, uh, something that connects them. I think we live in a world which is full of contrast. So I think to make contrast, it's very easy. I think to find things that are similar and really work with similarity to draw out certain strands is much more of a kind of a sophisticated approach to working. And I've tried to do that with music. One of the major responsibilities of a choreographer is to absorb influences. And those influences change my choreographic tendencies. And so I don't think about going to make something really innovative or I don't think about going to make the latest new piece. I really think about what's influencing me at that time and let's see how we might be able to draw on those influences in a really catalytic way and change the way in which I work in the studio. I don't want to be bored. And I think, you know, the point at which I'm very bored in the studio is a point for when I should stop. There's something about the technicity of classically trained bodies that I'm finding incredibly um, interesting and intriguing to work with. I'm finding it a, a kind of a rich pool to resource um, some of the choreographic language that I'm working on. And the dancers that I have in the company have very strong classical technique. They have lots of other skills, but they have a real kind of technicity, technology of the body, which is very explicit. Some days I can come in and I'm absolutely totally inspired in the moment and the choreography happens very, very quickly. And those are days where a lot of that material I might well keep. Some days, because the process is long, I come in and I don't have the right feeling. It might be something might have happened to me on the way to work. It might be I'm just not in that place. And I have to discipline myself to get into a place where I can make with no distraction. So how is it that I can push myself to find something interesting? In that process, sometimes you make things that you recognize in that I would look at it and think, oh, actually, that's something familiar to me. And when I see that, that's the time I know that that shouldn't be in the piece. That's something that I recognise as something from somewhere else. When you collaborate with someone, whether that's a composer, or whether that's a visual artist, or in my case, if it's a scientist, what you're looking for is a different way of perceiving the world, a different way of thinking about something. And people who have different knowledge sets have different types of information that they can share with you. And so I guess what's fascinating me about working with cognitive scientists or neuroscientists is the thinking that they bring to bear on what it is that you're doing and how that thinking might change the way in which I make choreography. So it's very, very collaborative in, in, in that way, but it's very much about shifting thinking and using a different filter to see the body in. I mean, I guess this, this title entity, I, I wanted to make a piece that was very much about the other, something uh, kind of external, something that felt as though it had its own grammar, its own syntax, its own uh, sense of identity, and that it wasn't loaded in something that we understand and could concretely say, this is da-da-da, you know, something very, very specific. So I guess this idea of entity, that it, it's something which is um, something other that is unfamiliar to us, but that has references of things maybe from the past that have informed it. One of the things that I really um, find exciting about working with dancers is collaborating with them in authoring language. And to do that, I have to, one, get to know them very well, they have to get to know me very well, and we have to share similar processes by which we can mine that new physical language. And I guess that's the thing that takes the time. I think I just want the dancers to be able to perform really well and to do the things that they've managed to do in the studio, you know, to actually um, retain that level of kind of authority that they have when they're doing runs in a more informal setting. I can't sit in the theatre and watch the piece on first night. I'll have watched it all up until that point. But I cannot sit with audience 
watching the piece of choreography. I either pacing about backstage watching the monitors, or I stand in a particular point in the theatre where I can move. I don't like. I, I have to kind of physicalise some of that work with them. I, it, it allows me to. Um, to just to kind of empathize with the event that's going on. And I think that's partly because obviously I used to dance so much. And so I used to be able to move from this point of choreographer to performer. I was able to uh, channel my energies from um, thinking about the whole piece to just thinking about a very, very particular and very personal point of view, getting myself warm, and then doing the choreography that I had to dance. And so I was able to move into that territory. And I'm kind of bereft of that now. So I have to keep find a way of like physicalizing uh, my energies in a different way.